Welcome to Ace Designs 107, I'm Jason and Carpack, you're the kings and queens. Today I want to you guys is a Photoshop tutorial showing you how you can make this YouTube banner. Now the original designer will be credited in the description below. Thank you so much for giving me an awesome design to replicate. I'm not trying to copy it and like put it into my portfolio, no, I just want to teach people Photoshop and this is going to be the style that we're going to be teaching them today. So. I'll give them a credit in the description below, make sure you go follow him, um, he's a great little designer and hopefully he'll get more attraction from this video. Right, um, so yeah, so the first step that we're going to do, by the way, I just want to make one quick mention, there's wood wooden floors being placed in my home currently, so you'll hear the background noise of saws cutting, electrical power tools going off the hook, so yeah, um, I'm sorry about that, I can't really stop that. Alright, so we're going to make a new layer, and this is going to be a CC Render Cloud. So we're going to go to Filter, Render Clouds, but before we do that, I'm going to do two greys like that. Something nice, go to Filter, Render Clouds. It's going to render some clouds, then we're going to go to the Opacity, and just change like that. Press Ctrl L, and bring up our lightness on these ones so we just have like that kind of fuzzy gray like just as a texture in the background really nice and opaque but you know it's still seeable okay then we're going to make a new layer above this and this is a really simple design that's why I chose it for today for the more beginners in Photoshop press M on my keyboard to grab up the rectangular marquee tool do a selection like that and we are going to fill this one in with a blue like that why don't we do it a little bit darker okay sweet and then we're just gonna press ctrl a press v on our keyboard second and fifth icon here to center that square um rectangle sorry all right and then the next step that we're going to do is grab up our pen tool hold shift and just do some accents out of here it's a bit too large that's what she said And uh, let's go across here. Let's go make selection, bam, bam, bam. And then we've got something nice like this going on. And we're going to do the exact same on this side. Like that. Just control D to deselect that one and Oops, uh, bam bam bam. Press OK and delete. Press Control D to deselect. Alright, great. So now we have something like this going on. The next step that I'm going to do is bring in my logos. Actually, we're going to light this thing up. So I'm going to go into my GFX pack. I'll put all the stocks that I used in this tutorial in the description below. The first one will be our Plexus stock as seen in the preview here. We're going to chuck this um, by rationalizing that layer and do overlay. So that's going to overlay to that and we're also going to create a clipping mask to that. Alright, we're going to press E for our razor tool, bump up the size to 750 pixels and the hardness zero and then just a raise of some um, some areas I guess so we get something like this going on then we press control J on that one uh, just we should have ideally press control J on the full one okay press control J a couple of times so we have a couple of copies hide these two create that And I am just going to raise it. 
something like that. Alright, sweet. And I'm also just going to do something like that. Alright, then I'm going to turn this one again, create a clipping mask. But I'm going to press Ctrl T, right click, do flip horizontally. And erase some of that on this side. Alright, and bring down the opacity. Alright, sweet. Now on this one, I think that it's a bit too, um, I think something like that is a bit more nice. And we'll make this one more visible. Just like that. Right, sweet. So now we have something that we can work with as a texture. We're going to try and find something nice also, so backing presets. You can try this one. Just lay it over the, to that one, right click it to create a clipping mask. And I'm going to chuck this into soft light. Or overlay, yeah, and that's going to give us that nice little texture in the background. Now we're going to press Ctrl U and just bring down the saturation on that one and the lightness a little bit or you can do darkness up just do something relatively like that and I might do no saturation on these alright and again bring down like that, right click, go to my blending options, and we're gonna do an over outer glow. That'll fade it out a bit more. Right, sweet. Now, this texture, I'll just bring it out like that, and we can turn off these to see how that texture looks. All right. It's looking good, it's looking good. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is bring in my icon pack. Right, I'm going to bring in my saw logo. Press Ctrl T, hold Alt and Shift and drag this one. Relatively like the same, like that. And then I'm going to bring in some Twitter. What else? Twitch and YouTube. YouTube and Twitch. Okay, sweet. And we're just going to make sure that our layers aren't color coded. All right, so the Twitch, uh, the Twitter first will be placed into there. Press Control T, hold Alt and resize that one. And YouTube play. And a Twitch. Alright, so we're going to have something like that. And then our sponsors. What are we going to do for this one? I want that um, one. But it's going to be hard to find since I don't know it. And there we go in the background sorry about that guys if you can hear it or not something that I can't control really well I can but no uploads for you so I'm sorry all right um... Elgato here it is that's sweet got that one 
And let's grab up one more. Scuff. Alright, nice. So we got some gaming and gaming sponsors there into our document. Now we're just gonna press Control T, resize this one. Relatively the same size as our Twitter. And just bring that across. Alright. The same for our Elgato. Just resize that one. All right, and imaginary customs. Imaginary or imagery customs? I don't know. All right, and then you'd have your text under here, so you'd have whatever's going to go over there. Now, with our thing, it's just a bit too strong. We'll do some lighting, so to do that, I'm going to make a new layer. Press B for our brush tool. Make sure that our foreground color is white. And let's do some, let's do some painting. There we go. Okay, actually we'll do that stuff later. Alright, so then we're going to grab an old text. Find something that you like, um, really simplistic. I'm liking this one. It's not gonna work out, so let's try another one. It's nice. So gaming. Uh, just give me a second. Hello? So, I'm going to add in my text next. So to do that, just going to use my text tool. Use white text. Right, and then just simply use same font as before at... So, gaming. And move this one right up here. Sweet. I'm just going to change the size of this font, obviously. Probably down to size what, 10. 18 will be nice. I like um, relatively small font for my social links. I don't know, it just looks more clean. And I don't know, it just it flows better, in my opinion. And then my at sign. be a little bit bigger. Alright, so this at store gaming and then slash saw for YouTube and then press control J and move this slash twitch. Alright, sweet. And then I'm just going to do use 10% use so for ten percent off use code saw for ten percent off. Alright, sweet. So we need to get some lighting done to spice really spicing up this document. So to do that, just make a new layer above all this. Not new document. And I'm actually just going to make it just above here. Alright. Press B for my brush tool and just make a click like that. Right click and you create a clipping mask to that area. And then bam. And we'll just do one little click on the bottom. And we'll do some clicks around just like the other areas on the area like that. So sweet, we have something like this going on now. 
and that's really simple. Now what you can do is, if you go to the saw logo, right, this doesn't need to be created clipping mask, but that is fine, and you can add in like a drop shadow, just do pure black. And what I'm trying to do is like get a nice little drop shadow. I think it looks nice like that and you can like turn on the effects on and off. But with the saw like logo coming off like that, really suits it. I don't know, it just pops out the logo a little bit more and everything just looks a little bit nicer like that and you can do the same on the saw gaming but i guess that just looks the best like that and yeah so you, you can add in like different elements on this but as i said it's a 2d banner so it's going to be um really nice and simplistic with that style so yeah thank you so much for watching the tutorial hopefully you were able to make this one and if you did let me know in the comments that you enjoyed the video if you did or if you didn't and also um, like the video if you haven't already let's see if we can get to 50 likes and also subscribe to ace designs 107 if you haven't already and hit me up on twitter showing me your designs because i'd love to see them and give you some feedback anyway thank you so much and peace guys